Legends tell of a vast underground world and the countless treasures that lie in store for worthy adventurers. What's up everybody watching? Today was the launch of Hearthstone's Kobolds and Catacombs, the newest expansion for Hearthstone that was announced at BlizzCon 2017. Now, honestly, I haven't been so hyped for an expansion in a long time. And that's strange because the last one was Knights of the Frozen Throne, but Knights of the Frozen Throne does hold its place with me. I just didn't jump on that one on launch day because of Overwatch. Now, I finally decided to take myself out of the realm of filthy casual, start buying packs, making decks, and playing this game again. I took a little bit of a break around the mean streets of Gadgetstan time, and I think it was just burnt out from playing it so much on Twitch TV. I just needed a long-term break. Overwatch helped with that. World of Warcraft Legion helped with that. But what got me back into it was this. When Knights of the Frozen Throne came out, I bought my packs. Didn't really play it on launch day. It took me a while to get those open. So at night, once I finished up with my Overwatch or work, whatever it was that night, my dog likes to go outside and sit out there for about an hour, hour and a half. So what do I do? I break out the mobile phone and I started playing Hearthstone, building decks, and brought me right back into the game. Crazy story, right? Pretty nuts. So, Mobile Hearthstone is what brought me back into this and made me decide to start playing this on launch day, get caught up with the meta, and get back into the Hearthstone groove. So in this video, we're going to be opening 40 packs for Kobolds and Catacombs. I cracked, I had to buy them, didn't save up the coins, because I've been purchasing Knights of the Frozen Throne packs at this point. So, without further ado, I think we should just get on this pack opening, because I'm looking to get a hold of some legendary weapons and start building up some decks. Need to get myself back up to those legendary ranks. Here we go, 40 packs, Hearthstone, Cobalt, Catacombs, let's do this. I want to start running some dungeons too. Here we go. Pack number one. See the orange glow when it busts open the packs and makes you think you're actually getting a legendary? I like, I like hovering over things. What do we got here? Explosive runes. I'm mainly looking for warrior and rogue cards and neutral cards. I like to focus on one or two decks. Corrosive sludge. That could be a dangerous thing with all these legendary weapons. I expect to see that for some reason. Could be wrong. Pack number two. Cobalt library. Warrior. Okay. At the start of your turn, attack a random enemy. Probably will not... Maybe... Maybe we could work that card into it. I like the cards I've seen so far in this expansion. I've been paying a little bit of attention to see if I should jump into this, and since I do like what I'm seeing, we're going to start building some decks. That's what I'm talking about. Third pack in, we got a legendary. Give me the legendary warrior weapon. I want a legendary warrior card. I like to keep all warrior cards. What is the first legend? Mage? I don't even play Mage. At the end of your turn, draw three cards. Alright, a legendary's a legendary. Good stuff. Three packs in, it's hard to complain, right? What else we got? Give me another one. Back to backs. No, no. Well, the good thing about this is they're all new cards. What is this one? At the end of your turn, some of the one twos with taunt, not nah. Not something I could see myself using. Until I get into deck builder and start seeing what works here. Next pack. Epic. At the end of your turn, restore three health to your hero. That could be a difficult card to deal with on turn three. What's my epic? Destroy all minions, discard your hand, cataclysm, warlock. Start with the rare. Lesser Ruby spells. So I'm getting a decent bit of mage cards here and Paladin. Paladin used to be one of my go-to heroes. I got the Golden Paladin. I kind of just drifted off on that one. I do want to get a hold of rogue cards because I want to build viable rogue decks. Warrior just goes without saying. That's what I'll use if I want to climb. Shuffle all minions into your opponent's decks. That's pretty savage. Looks like you can create some fun decks out of this expansion. here. 
Gotta take a look at the goods. Start your turn, set this minion's attack to four. That could be a pain. Alright, next pack. You know what I'm liking so far about Hearthstone expansions? I like how dungeon mode is included, and this isn't separate. How solo I mean, adventure modes, like with Knights of the Frozen Throne, and packs were included all in one. Remember, packs you had to purchase, adventure mode was free. This one, same thing. I'm liking what they're doing, because it does get costly after a while to continually buy Hearthstone packs, especially when you should buy more than 40. Could easily spend two bills on these things, no problem. Nothing good here. Nothing that I want. So I like how they're including that and they're not charging you for these adventure modes and dungeon modes anymore. I think it's a solid change so far from the Hearthstone team. Got 30 more packs. 31 more packs. Another one of these corrosive sludges. Psychic Pro. No good, no good. What do we got coming next? Another epic. Okay, this is what we want. Golden common. Another golden common. I'm getting quite a bit of these green jellies. That's what we want. Spend all your armor, deal that much damage to all minions. That's... We could work with that. I'm looking at, like, maybe... I don't know what it... I don't... Maybe an armor... Geared warrior. I could see this working out with this type of expansion. Armor weapons type warrior. Control style. I gotta get into deck builder, but I have some ideas I want to put together. Not that I'm the greatest deck builder in the world, but I know I can make these decks work. Getting tired of the net decking stuff. That kind of got to me too. I don't like copying decks. I mean, some are absolutely fun to play, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna say I've never done it, but in general, I like to create my own decks. I mean, it may not be a recipe to reach legend, but it definitely adds to the fun of the game. I don't know how other people feel about this. I mean, net decking helps you climb, but creating your own decks can be quite a bit of fun. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, particularly on that topic. Let's see. Deal 8 damage to a minion overload through. Again, quite a bit of shammies here. Now, I remember last pack opening, somebody told me that you get a legendary every 10 packs. So hoping to get four, if that's the truth of it. I didn't research that to find out if that was true. Another epic. You look at some of these cards. I'm looking at this Kobold Barbarian. I'm sitting here like, how can I make this work? Can I make a straight Kobolds deck? Maybe some Kobolds and Dragons? gonna be a science when I put this together. So I got two of those now. And if I get any dust, hopefully I'll be able to craft, I believe it'll be three legendaries. One of them I want from Mean Streets, a gadget stand. Lesser Mithril. Alright, another warrior card. I gotta decide if I wanna do that. I usually play standard mode, but I'm getting the itch to go back to wild. That shit can get pretty damn wild, let's be honest. With all the changes this game has had. Pilot Worm, swimming. Dark Pack. Yeah. 25 more to go. What is this? What is this? Alright, I wanted rogue cards. Draw a weapon from your deck. I guess that could possibly work. We'll have to say 3-1. I thought about making this one work too. For each only minion gain two armor. I like the card. Only way to do it is test it out and play. Keep those warrior cards coming. There's another epic. I'm piling on the epics here. Identified shield. It, it looks very armor based. It looks like warriors going a very armor based route. Gain five armor, gains a bonus effect in your hand. Let's see what those bonus effects are. Transform a friendly minion into a 6 6 elemental. That could be a little dangerous. What's our epic? Taunt death rattle summon three 1 3 demons with taunt. I used to be a warlock player too, and it kind of drifted away from warlock. I mean, if you get enough decent warlock cards, I may try that out. Maybe 
this right here. Need this for some pack openings, right? Well, it holds back some of that anticipation. Librarian, Sippy Dragon, Sonic Probe. Draw two minions from your deck. This card could be, I think, decent. Unidentified Maw Pally. Twenty-two to go. Warlock, Paladin, Rogue, so now I have two of those. As long as I have two of each card, I'm okay. I like to try and get every card, but I've gotten way behind on that. That was another reason why I decided to go with a pack opening tonight. Let's see, 21. So we're halfway there after this one. No oh, dice on the damn legendaries. God damn it. Deal two damage to a minion, gain three armor. I'm never going to play Druid, I just don't like the class. I built a warrior deck that absolutely, a tempo style warrior deck that absolutely wrecks Jade Druid. I love it. The deck was so much fun. I think that was the deck that got me back into this game, to be honest. Another epic. We're the legendaries. Give adjacent minions two plus two for five mana, not worth it. It's the epic. Paladin again. Recruit three minions that cost two or less. I wonder how this card's gonna play out. This was one I was looking at where I was on the fence with. Call the arms. 19 packs left. Cursed us. Another one of these unidentified shields. At least give me one of the warrior legendaries, because I'm gonna have to craft them. Or rogue. I would prefer warrior. If I say it enough times, it'll definitely happen, because that's how things go, right? Nothing. God. Another one of these benevolent the djinns. Dark pack. Another one of these. Elven. Ugh. Come on. Can't be breaking this on. Breaking the bank on these packs. Let's go. Give me what I need to work with here. Shrieking Shroom. Mm hmm. Dry Gulch Jailer. Getting intrigued with the Paladin cards here. Epic. Killing me. Killing me. Another one of these. Void Ripper. Swap the attack and health of all other minions. I don't know if it'll see too much play in rank, but it looks like an interesting card. 15 more to go and only popped open one legendary weapon for a mage. Not one of my favorite classes to play. Final worm. <clears throat> this is brutal. Why are you doing this to me, Hearthstone? This looks like an interesting card for Hunter early on. I could see this being used. I could see Candle Shot being used because Hunters really don't have too many one drops. Two of these. I don't know if it'll see play, but it caught my eye for early clears. This is not alright. Never, never fucking lucky with Hearthstone. The luck carried over to Overwatch unboxings. Did not carry back over to Hearthstone. At least so far. Maybe we could pull some magic out of a pack. I don't know about this bladed gauntlet. Has attack equal to your armor. Can't attack heroes. I don't like things that can't attack heroes, but I could see it being useful. See it possibly working. I think there's plenty of more viable weapons out there at this point. So that's one. Okay, I was gonna say. 
I thought it was one in every ten. I've only gotten one. Please be the warrior legendary. Give me the warrior legendary. legendary. Fucking A, man. All the classes I don't play. If your deck has no millions, minions, fill your hand with hunter spells. I'm never going to play hunt hard. I'm very particular about the classes I play. I'm a very character loyal person in these games. I'm very stubborn about things like that. I'm sure many, many other players are just like me on that one. Nine to go. I would call this a brutal opening so far. Shammy's not one I play. Hunter's not one I play. Lock I could work with. I might have to work with some of these lock cards to see what I could do here. I'm very determined to build decks tonight. Get these wonderful ideas. Neutral. I've gotten quite a few of these. Hooked Reaver, another Warlock. If you have 15 or less health, gain 3 3 and taunt. Oh, I can feel the salt settling in my veins as I go through these packs. Golden Common, I guess. Cheat Death. Okay, I know this one. This one's from WoW. I've used this many times. Secret When a friendly minion dies, return it to your hand. It costs 2 less. See how these work. Another one of these emerald spells. He's getting all the hunt hard shit. Another epic. No legendary. Same ones. Five packs to go. Saving the best for last here, right? Another one of these cavern shiny finders and these oozlings. Bungle Enchanter. <laughs> another cavern shiny finder. Another one. It's another one. Free to go. Oh. Hate this game. Cobalt Hermit. Another Spellstone! There's only 135 cards in this entire set. Feels like I'm getting the same ones over and over again. Not winning the legendary lottery, boys and girls. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't care about golden rares. Oh, I don't have this one here. I don't think. You're holding a dragon deal three damage to all of the minions. This can go... That's a priest card, damn it. I was hoping it was neutral. I wasn't sure right off the top. This is dragon warrior decks or something I really like to build and play. Last one. Give me one more for the road. Well, we're going to call this an unsuccessful pack opening for me. Well, I'm going to have to work with what I have here. We'll check out how much dust I have, see what I can craft, and start building some decks here. I mean, I've had better openings. Luckily, all the cards you get in this set are pretty much new at this point. Sucks I didn't get what I was looking for, but that's what we have dust for, and that's what we have dungeon runs for. I'm very intrigued about doing these dungeon runs. I actually saw a contest on Twitch TV to see who can complete these dungeons in a timely manner. Now, I'm not going to be competing in that because I'm just going to be enjoying the dungeon as a filthy casual, possibly on YouTube. But once we hit standard ranked play, that's when I'm going to cut the shit and start actually trying again and build some viable decks at this point. 
everybody i hope you enjoyed this pack opening if you did like the video that really helps boost the channel comment your thoughts on this pack opening there's not much to comment it looks like other than that sucks because i didn't really get what i really wanted and subscribe to this channel if you're liking what i'm doing here it's really appreciated helps me get keeps me motivated to keep popping out these videos even after working to my damn jobs everybody thank you for watching Hope you're enjoying kobolds and catacombs. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Later. Riches you'll own, but leave one thing alone.